All right, so welcome back to the lesson. This is lesson five of the comprehensive web design course with Bolaji James. This was where we stopped. We have installed WordPress on our domain, and we now want to see. I want to take a brief look at the dashboard, and this lesson and is start understanding the WordPress dashboard. Number one, we have to dismiss this, and then this is our dashboard. You can see our site health. You can see at a glance we have one post, one page, one comment, uh, and all of that. So, but all of these are useless to us. By my definition, they are useless to us. We are less concerned about all this. I, why here we have all the tools that we need? All the tools that we need to build our website are in this place. So, number one thing I want us to do is to remove all these things so that we know where, where to focus. We have to remove all of this. The only thing I will be leaving is this site health. It's good to monitor your site health in case there's any issue. So, how do you do that? We click on this screen options here. And um, we're going to remove this, 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 and this. And then we close it. So we can see our dashboard is now clear and very clear. Okay, so we move on. Now here we have our home, which is where we are now. We have updates. When you go to updates each time, you go there once in a while to update your site but normally this site is automatically kept up to date with each new version of wordpress so you but you may need to update your plugins or update the team that you have so your teams are all up to date your plugins are all up to date so you can come here to do your update now post is where you create your post a post is just like an article an article that is talking about a particular topic for instance you read new uh, blog on the internet a blog about a particular topic that so that you read so in this blog you may have the picture you know like the headline picture that shows you what uh you know that, that that tells you the topic you have the topic which is the title you have the body of the um article and there may be some images so that is a post this is where you add them we have media the media library is where you add media videos audio uh images whatever your logo and other things this is where you'll be able to add all of that so we'll be using them more often the next one is pages pages also contain pictures title and all of that just like post but the difference is that uh, why a page can hold different posts for instance uh a, when you go to a website uh for instance like a business website you want to have different pages maybe like six or five or four main pages like the home page the home page is where the cost the, the, the visitor lands when they view your website and the own page is talking about what you do in that um, website. It's a kind of advert, a welcome, a show of the work you do, and other things. So on that own page too, you may add some blog posts, your recent blog posts down below. Your address will be there, and all that things. So, but on the other pages like about us, you will not have to put all those old things that you put on the home page. You just about us. Who are we? Just like a kind of your resume on the about us page. Then on the contact us page will be how people can contact you, your phone number, that where they can fill the form that you get back to them and all of that. So then you have a blog page for those that will be blogging, or even if you are not blogging, you may, you need to be posting articles, updates about your business, what is happening in your company and the latest development so that is the blog page in that blog page there's going to be a lot of posts do you understand so that is the difference between the pages and the post the pages are like static pages pages that will just be there always where people just see but post is you something you update regularly any new thing happening you make a post 
You understand now? So if you compare it to, let's say, your, your profile on Facebook, you have all your details on Facebook. They are there. Standard. Your name doesn't change. You understand? If there's any change, you can probably you get married like a woman. You get married, you can change that. But it, basically, they are started. They are always there. Your phone number and the rest. But every day you snap pictures, you do video. Maybe you did, uh, you got, you were doing wedding and all of that. You update. So those are posts. So that is the difference. We have comments here. Comment is when people drop a comment on any of your blog posts. So you get it here and you'll be able to approve. If it's spam, you cancel it. If it's, uh, you understand? So if it's not allowed, you just disapprove it. I'll mark it as spam. And all of that. We have the appearance. Under the appearance is where you'll be able to do all your settings. On the appearance, you'll be able to do all your settings. That is how you want your website to look like the color, uh, the, the theme, the background, and all of that. That is what you do there. So, and also, you'll be able to choose a theme. I'm going to talk more about uh, themes very soon in uh, in subsequent videos. Okay? Then we have plugins. The plugins uh, help you to add what is not added in the team. You understand? You have built a house, two bedroom flat, but some things that were not added, you hire somebody to just put that there uh, by buying some, you know, buying some appliances to add to, uh, to add functionality to your website. For instance, you just built a website, a school website, whereby you put your portfolio and every other thing. But there is no resort management as part of the website. And now you want to do resort management. You can get a plugin that does that and then just fix it to your website and it will now become part of your website of your website so that is what plugins do then we have the users here you see people who are registered on your website you as the admin and any other person if you have more than one person that will be managing your website or probably is a public website where people can register and do one or two things there you will see all your users in this place then we have some tools which you can use and uh, we have our settings then of course you can collapse the uh the, the menu so and bring it back again so that is our, our just an overview of the um the wordpress dashboard now the next thing we want to do is wordpress settings wordpress settings we need to do some things some settings on our wordpress so click on this place Go to general. We need to set up our website. Put some certain uh, settings. They are not. They are just basic settings. Now, if you look at this place, we have the site title WordPress tutorial. If what you used earlier you made a mistake, there you can come back here and do what and change it. The tagline you can also come back here and make changes. Then the URL you leave it the same. Then your email address if you had one before and you want to change it you can come here and change it but that new that day, there is going to be an email that will be sent to that new one for you to confirm now if it's a membership website like i said where people need to register you mark this without marking this without check check marking this nobody aside from you the administrator or account that you create from the administrator here you go to a user and then you add new user. So if not, nobody will be able to come from this front end here and register on your website. I once had somebody who also contacted me from uh, YouTube about this, that when people try to register, it gives them error. I had to put him through that he needs to come to this place and ensure that this is checked. Now, when people need register newly, what is their default rule? You need to set that here. So... You choose the default role is subscriber they're just subscriber but if you want to now give them it an additional power you can give this maybe you have somebody who is going to be an author or a contributor that will be coming to to help you make posts maybe you are a blogger you want someone else that will also just you will be coming to your website 
to help you to create articles but you don't want to give the person administrator right after the person has registered you come back here and change their uh their role by editing the user by the time you go to user where you see all the users then you edit that person's user that user edit it and change their role okay language is this and the time zone is this we leave that the thing what we want to change here is uh this uh time format is correct and the week starts on monday if yours if you want your own week to start on sunday then you change it here. so these are the basic settings number one this one here if it's a membership site make sure you change it and of course here yeah, week uh, starts but since i'm not changing anything I'm not going to save anything then we'll go to the next one which is writing now in the writing when you create a new post it will be marked as uncategorized uh, so until you create other categories so you leave that uh now what we want to change here now is uh for you to uh, uh okay there's nothing here for you to change basically so there's nothing yet for you to change in the writing as well so we leave that we go to reading so you make some changes on the general then reading now you see your own page here your own page is uh, your latest post and that is why you see a post here hello so by the time we will be coming back to this place to set our page by the time we have created the page that we want our visitor to see when they come to our website once we have created that page we'll come back here and select here we can say sample page because this is the only page that is there if you go back to this place now and click here this is a page this is a sample page that was built into the uh wordpress that we install so this will be if i change that now to this you understand you can see now is a sample page wordpress tutorial.com dot ng forward slash sample page but if i come here and say i want this static page sample page to be our what our um to be our own page then post page we'll create a, a page for that too where all our posts will be showing so by the time we do that we click on save changes so later when we create the post page we'll come back here and change that one but if you come back here and just click here click on this to go back to the home page that is wordpress tutorial.com.ng if you click here now you see that this is the page that is now acting as our home page not that place where we have the um the the blog the blog post anymore so this is how you change your home page and the blog page so we've done that we move on from there uh we go to prima links prima link structure Okay, so we we'll go to Prima Link structure, go to Prima Links, and then the only thing we want to change here is uh the Prima Link structure. We'll come here and say post name, please. You can see, for instance, if you select this one that is here now, if you create a post and you click on that post, the post will have your, your domain forward slash the year, the the month the date and then before this which doesn't look good go over the internet and check you hardly see something like this it is bad it will not even allow your post to rank it will not allow your post to rank especially if you are a blogger so make sure you come back here and choose post name this is the best practice your domain name forward like the name of the post and this will allow search engine to pick this uh, post name very quickly so make sure you set this as post name and then you do what say save changes so once we've done that those are the basic settings that we need to do and that is where we wrap up on the lesson in the next stop in the next uh, lesson we'll be talking about page builders we'll talking about page builders so I believe you are excited to see what we do next. See you in that next lesson.